hello everyone welcome back to the channel so i was going through my folder for comfy UI and i wanted to make some space and i look at my laura folder it was around 20 gigabytes but most of them they were for sd 1.5 or sdxl right now i am only using the flux as my main models and i was trying to figure out how i can reuse or integrate those SD 1.5 or SD XL LoRa's into a Flux workflow. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm not sure if this is the best method, but that's how I did it. Now, of course, if you have a different solution to this problem, let me know in the comments down below. So a couple of things that you will need, Comfy UI, of course, up to date, make sure you are updating your Comfy UI. You'll also need to have all the Flux model correctly in their respective folders. Now here's a LoRa I have. It's the 3D animation style normal. And as you can see here on the right side, it says that this is a LoRa type and the base model for it is SD 1.5. Now, I really like this style and I wanted to have the same style, the same type of images, but using the Flux model. Okay, so I started out with a very basic Flux workflow and um, I'm just using the Flux dev, I have the clip here, I have the load VA, then basically everything is standard here. Now, the first thing I thought of doing was basically do an image to image. Flux can do image to image. We just need to play around with the denoising factor here and then the number of steps to achieve that. So I've added a load image, pass it through a VAE encode and I'm using the Flux VAE to encode it. And then when I click on the QPROP, this is what I get. So it's basically using the pixel from the load image now, this is using a high denoising strength, but in order to get a similar style, we'll have to add a positive prompt. Right now, in this particular workflow for this generation, I did not put any text prompt there. So what I did is I went into ChatGPT, I gave it the exact same image, and I said, can you describe this image in detail? And it specified that I want it in a single paragraph, and I want it to be as detailed as possible. So describe the subject, the background, and the style in there. And it output this paragraph here. I click on the copy it button, and then I'm going to go inside of this workflow, paste it there. As you can see, I'm on a fixed seed, so I'm going to use the same seed that generated this image, and then click on the Q prompt. All right, so it's completed and now you can see we have a 3D animation style and it's influenced by this image. Now the issue we have here is that I would first need to get this initial image and that one we can get it from an SD 1.5 workflow considering that this specific LoRa is for the base model SD 1.5. So you can use any SD 1.5 workflow, generate the image and then get it and pass it there. However, I want it to be just one click. Click on the Q button and goes through the SD 1.5 workflow into the Flux workflow. But first, let's tackle this issue here where we have to add a descriptive prop. So for that, I went into the manager, into custom node manager here. And then under the search section here, I've typed in Florence and then install the Comfy UI Florence 2. This is the ID. Once installed, you can double click on an empty space and search for Florence. I'm going to add the Florence to run. Now the image is going to come from this one. Basically the load image node, which is the initial image, is going to go through the Lawrence. The task I'm going to change to a more detailed caption. For the model, I'm just going to take the model and drag out and then use the download and load Florence 2 model. It's going to automatically download the base model. That's the, the one that I've used. However, 
once you've downloaded it you can remove that previous node take the florence 2 underscore model once again drag out and then select florence 2 model loader and it will tell you which model that you've downloaded for me it's just the base model now next for the positive prop i'm going to right click on it and then say convert widget to input this will give me an input text field it's basically a string field so if we take this caption here drag out you can see that it says caption to a string so we need to find a string input in order to plug this one in and that's why i've changed the text encode node the widget i've just converted into an input so i can drag this caption into text and now it's connected so what's going to happen here is that this image passed through the florence model the model is going to caption it the description of that image will be passed as positive from and then the image will also go inside the VAE encode, which will then be passed to the sampler. So we are not going to use this empty latent image or the width height as well. All right, so let's give this one a try. All right, so it's completed and you can see that now it's being influenced by the initial image and we have the 3D animation effect there. Now, of course, if you want more of the input image, you just need to go down into the basic scheduler here. And let's just say we put it as 0.5, generate a new. By the way, the shortcut I used to queue another image was control enter. All right, so now you can see that it's more of the initial image. It's uh, almost the same, basically it's 50% of it. And then just adding a little bit of cleanup from the flux model so this one the right side is from sd 1.5 it's the input image and then the left side here this one it's from the flux now let's add the sd 1.5 workflow into it this way we do not require a load image and we can do it from just one click so let me go into a new tab here I have a new tab with a workflow this is just a very very basic workflow of sd 1.5 and then we are adding this load loader node where i'm just selecting this 3d animation style it's the same one here now this one it does not specify any text actually there's not even a description for it so i'm just going to run it as it is but if you are particular LoRa that you really like and you want to transfer it to flux as a trigger word then make sure that you're adding the trigger word inside the sd 1.5 or sdxl workflow not the flux workflow okay so this is the sd 1.5 workflow and as you can see well my prop let's see here is masterpiece best quality and i've just inputted dog there random seed and then this is the result so i'm going to copy everything until the vad code and then go inside the flux workflow at the very beginning i'm going to paste it in a blank space and when you have multiple nodes selected there you can press shift and then move all of them together if you do not press shift and you move it only one of the nodes will move and if you want to highlight everything this is just a quick tip you can press Control, hold and then click and drag to select multiple nodes at once okay so shift drag it next to the va encode of the flux and then get rid of the load node of course i'm going to share the workflow but in case you want to build it Let's say you have a very specific SD 1.5 workflow, then all you need to do is just copy, paste it. It's going to be this part that you're going to replace and then simply connect the image from the VA decode into the pixel input of the VA encode for the flux workflow. Now, one more thing that you'll need to do is remember that previously we added this 
Lorenz to run. This one was captioning the image. So we'll need to take the image from this VAD code into the Florence as well. So this should be it. All right, so let's do a generation here. All right, so here's the result. And it's not an exact use of the SD 1.5 LoRa, but we are still using it, getting an image, and then using the Flux model to get a better, higher quality image. Now, right now, the SD 1.5, the maximum I would go to is 768 by 768. But when it comes to the flux model, it can generate higher resolution. So what I'm going to do here is before going inside the VA encode for the image, I'm going to upscale it. So I'm going to add the upscale image by because I know I'm going from SD 1.5 to flux. I'm just going to double the image resolution. And for my particular machine, I know it can handle the resolution, but you may want to decrease it, increase it depending on your machine. Let's queue another image. And you can see here it's going through the BAE encode once again, because we have this upscale now. I'm not doing any fancy upscaling. You can do the ultimate as the upscale if you want to. And just take a look, if we go inside the terminal for Comfy UI, this section here, this is what the Florence model is doing. It's just looking at the picture, well, looking at the picture and then describing it. Now, I still find that the description from ChatGPT is better. All right, so we have a new image here and you can also add a preview node if you want to see the initial image. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to change the control before generation to randomize. All right, so it's completed. So on the right side here, that's from the SD 1.5 with the LoRa directly. And the left side here is from the Flux model. So we can see that this one, it's a little bit blurry. It's, it's not as defined, but in the final one, the flux model one, we can see that it's better. And even the eyes, they are better defined. Now, of course, not every generation is going to get like this. You will need to play around, like I mentioned, with the denoising factor. It depends on how much you want to change the final image. So if you want less influence from this initial image, increase denoising strength. If you want to have it as close as possible to the initial image, then you would decrease the denoising strength. So play around with these two values. And of course, depends on your SD 1.5 or SDXL workflow. I am showing you how to do this with LoRa, but you can also do this with IP adapter, instant ID, you can use that one. And once you have your final image, you just need to encode it using the Flux VAE and then just pass it through the workflow to get your final output. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this video. And let me know if this is the best method to achieve this going from SD 1.5 to Flux. If you have any other workflows that uh, basically solve this issue, or solve this problem, let me know in the comments down below. All right. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching until the very end. Take care. I will see you in the next one.